Although not widely publicized, every year hydraulic elevators malfunction, lose pressure, and fall. Many building owners and managers are unaware of the dangers of hydraulic elevator failure and their resulting exposure to liability. Hydraulic elevators were originally designed and installed without safeties. When hydraulic technology was first put into use on elevators, safeties were considered unnecessary. Over time, through a number of tragic accidents, it became apparent that under certain conditions, the cylinders and other components of these hydraulic elevators were in fact susceptible to catastrophic failure due to erosion, ground electrolysis, and other conditions. In the 1960s, early 1960s, there were several accidents where the bottoms fell off of hydraulic cylinders and the elevators fell and a bunch of people were injured. This caused the code making committee to change the code such that in 1972 all hydraulic elevators, direct plunger, were built with what is called in the code a safety bulkhead. The safety bulkhead or double bottom cylinder drastically slowed the release of hydraulic oil in the event of a catastrophic failure of the main cylinder bottom. This change in code affected new elevators going into the market, but left a huge number of older elevators in the field vulnerable. And over the ensuing decades, many injuries occurred, and there were some deaths due to systems failing. There were a couple really serious accidents, one in Cincinnati and one in Pennsylvania, and by 2000, the code changed again after those serious accidents to require retroactively that something be done to prevent these serious accidents. And there were three things that could be done. Either a new cylinder with a safety bulkhead, a car safety, which is a device that grips the rails the same as you have on what you would call a cable type elevator, or a plunger gripper which is a device that grabs the plunger that pushes the elevator up. Car safeties that stop elevators by gripping the rails require a structural rail strength and method of rail attachment often not found in most buildings with in-ground hydraulic elevators. This effectively eliminates them as an option for most building owners. A cylinder replacement, while an effective way to protect against catastrophic cylinder failure, is very costly, time-consuming, extremely messy, and provides no protection against other types of hydraulic system failure. The most comprehensive and cost-effective protection for hydraulic elevators is available through the installation of a plunger gripper, like the Life Jacket from Adams. The Life Jacket plunger gripper was developed in 1995 to address the need for more comprehensive protection for the riding public and hydraulic elevator owners. The life jacket installs above the head of the cylinder around the elevator plunger. If life jacket senses any loss of pressure or uncontrolled downward car movement, it closes around the plunger, bringing the car and any passengers to a safe, controlled stop while causing no damage to the cylinder or elevator. Life jacket is reusable and easy to reset once the problem that triggered it has been remedied. While safety codes require regular testing of hydraulic elevators, the nature of their design makes it impossible to inspect all critical parts, such as the cylinder, directly. The failure of other essential components, such as oil lines and valves, has also caused loss of hydraulic pressure and the resulting disaster of a falling elevator car. A plunger gripper like the life jacket provides comprehensive protection because it activates when there is any loss of pressure or uncontrolled downward car movement, no matter what the cause of the problem. If the system fails non-catastrophically, we'd have to ask what was non-catastrophic. And that, if that's check valve or down valve or broken pipe, um, there is a very good history. No, it's a very bad history of people being injured. I have um, two cases in Chicago, one in Nebraska. Um, I've had other ones out in suburbs here in the past where either um, pipes broke, check valve failed, or down valve failed, and people get hurt. The reality is the plunger gripper or the life jacket is some assurance that you are going to mitigate that kind of a problem. With the known history of hydraulic failures, 
personal injury, legal liability, and damage to equipment, leaving your elevator unprotected just doesn't make sense. Life Jacket is easily retrofitted on virtually any hydraulic elevator. It is far less expensive than a cylinder replacement and is the approved method that protects against all possible system failures. Protect the riding public and protect yourself. Ask for more details about the Life Jacket from Adams today.